Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to your maths lesson on Thursday, the 4th of February. This is our seventh lesson um, in our uh, addition unit, and today we are going to be using column addition for four and three digit numbers when regrouping is required in multiple columns. Okay, you have done brilliantly at this over the last few weeks, um, or last week and this week. Um, really, really well, really impressed. Let's hope that you um, don't find this too tricky today. So start us off there. What number have I made today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the thousands, six in the hundreds, three in the tens, and eight in the ones. So hopefully you've got that as well for 7,638. What um, facts can you tell me about this? Can you tell me another one and another one? and another one and a different one. Okay, once you've had a go at that, let's then look at this 7,638 and we're going to be adding 523 to it. So it's a four digit number to start off with and we're adding a three digit number. So I've got five in the hundreds, just checking that, two in the tens and three in the ones, that looks all right. Okay, so let's start then. One's column first, well, I've got eight to start with, eight, nine, 10, 11. So one left in the ones column, and I need one more group of 10 because I have 11 ones and I need to regroup into one 10 and one ones. Then we count the tens column. One, two, three, four, five, six, six all together now. Then hundreds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So very similar to, similarly to the ones, we have one in the hundreds and we need one more thousands coin. And that one's definitely a little bit wonky. And then we add up our thousands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our total is 8,161. Hopefully you can see how we did that moving across. Nothing new today, um, just a couple more different columns. Okay, let's go again. What number have I made this time? Hopefully you're screaming at me. There's a three in the thousands, one, two, three, four, eight in the hundreds, three in the tens, and one, two, three, six in the ones. So 3,836. Tell me a fact about this one, and another, and another. Okay then, so from our 3,836, I'm gonna be adding the three digit number of 675. Just check, one, two, three, four, five, six in the hundreds, six, seven in the tens, and one, two, three, four, five in the ones, brilliant, okay. So six add five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So one in the ones, and one more tens because we needed to regroup our 11. Now the tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 again. So one in the tens and regroup for one more hundreds. And then in our hundreds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we leave five in the hundreds and we regroup one more thousand. And then we count up the thousands, 4,000 now. So 4,511. Hopefully you can see how we did this. Let's have a look how it looks when we do our column addition. Okay, so the only different thing to note this time is how we have laid it out. So remember all the way through these videos, we've been using um, our Colin and our Coco phrases, ones in the ones, tens in the tens, hundreds in the hundreds, thousands in the thousands. So that's quite um, key here today because we have a four digit and a three digit number. So you can see that my first number, 5663, is in the correct columns and so is my 828. And it's the eight in the hundreds here and then the tens and then the one. So I actually don't have anything for now in this thousand gap. We've also got our cocoa advice. 
if the column sum is equal to 10 or more, we must regroup. So we did that with the counters as well. And then if I have so many hundreds, I need to regroup to 1000 and so many hundreds. So again, this might go over um, into that thousands column. Okay, let's have a go at this one then. Three, add eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, one in the ones and regroup to one over here. Then six, add two is eight, one more is nine. Six, add eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, four in the hundreds and one in the thousands. And that's because I had 14 hundreds and I needed to regroup into 1,400. And then five, add nothing, add one more is six. So our answer here is 6,491. Hopefully you saw how we were doing that. Again, it's not too different from the other ones, just making sure we're lined up correctly today. Okay, let's do another one then. 3,854, add 793. And again, you can see one box per digit, uh, sorry, one digit per box, one number per square, um, and they are lined up correctly. Ones under the ones, tens under the tens, hundreds under the hundreds, and thousands under the thousands. Okay, let's give it a go then. Starting with our ones, four add three, four, five, six, seven. Five add nine, or nine add five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So four in the tens and one in the hundreds. Eight add seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Add one more down here is 16. So six in the hundreds and one in the thousands. And that's because I had 16 hundreds and it needed to go into the one thousands and 600. Then I've got three, add nothing, add one, which equals four. So our answer is 4,647. Okay, next one then. So this is our last example for today. Can you please pause the video here, have a go at this, see if you can answer Colin's um, vocabulary as you go, and then we'll do the answer through in just a second. Okay, so hopefully you had a go at that. Let's see if you get the same answer as I do. So we start checking eight, six, three, seven, and six, nine, five. Ones are under the ones, tens, tens, hundreds, hundreds, and a thousand. Okay, so we start with our ones, seven, add five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, two in the ones, and one in the tens. Then three add nine, or nine add three, nine, 10, 11, 12, Add one more is 13, three in the tens and one in the hundreds. Now in the hundreds column, six add six is 12, add one more is 13. So three in the hundreds, one in the thousands. And that's because I've got 13 hundreds for 1,000 and three hundreds. And then eight thousands, add nothing, add one is nine. So if you had the answer, 9,000, 332, a huge well done. Okay, your turn then. Can you have a go at these four calculations in your books? Remembering those phrases, if the column sum is equal to 10 or more, we must regroup, and you've seen how we've done that, and using the if I have so ever many hundreds, I need to regroup into 1000 and something hundreds. Good luck and make sure you come back and we'll go through these answers together. Okay, I'm gonna start then with getting rid of these. So I've got some space and we are gonna start with 5,446. And I'm gonna be adding 475. And you can see how I'm keeping it one box per square and I'm making sure I'm keeping the hundreds in the hundreds um, because I know my second one doesn't have a thousands digit. Okay, six add five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One in the ones and one ten. Four add seven or seven add four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more down here is twelve. So two in the tens, one in the hundreds. Four add four is eight, one more makes nine. 
and just the 5,000 in that column. So if you had the answer 5,921, please give yourself a tick. Okay, next one. 6,663 add 763. And again, making sure they're all lined up correctly under the right place value. And I get the ruler out to do my ruler line. Okay, three add three is six. Six add six is 12, so two in the tens, one regroup for the hundreds. Six add seven or seven add six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. One more at the bottom is 14. So four in the hundreds, one in the thousands, Six, add nothing, add one is seven. So our answer here is 7,426. And if you also got that answer, give yourself a tick there. Okay, scrolling down a little bit, some more room. Next one, 879. And we're going to add 4,000. 261. Now what's different as I've written that one out? Hopefully you can see that the hundreds number, the three digit number is on top, the four digit number is on the bottom, it doesn't make a difference, but I still need to make sure the ones are lined up with the ones, tens with the tens, hundreds with the hundreds, and thousands with the thousands. And there obviously wasn't a thousand up there. So let's have a go. Nine add one is 10. So zero in the ones and a one in the tens. 7 add 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Add one more is 14, so 4 in the tens, 1 in the hundreds. 8 add 2 is 10, add one more is 11, so 1 in the hundreds, 1 in the thousands, and 4 add 1 is 5. So if you had the answer 5,140, please give yourself a tick. Final one then, something is equal to 8,866, add 397. So it's just worded the other way around, but we know by now that that doesn't make it any trickier. And again, we start with our ones column. Six add seven or seven add six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Three in the ones, one in the tens. Six add nine or nine add six is 15. Add one more is 16. So six in the tens, one in the hundreds. Eight add three is 11. Add one more is 12. So two in the hundreds, one in the thousands. Eight add nothing is eight. Add one more is nine. So if you had the answer 9,263 please give yourself a tick. Excellent. Okay, so let's see what Emmett's done today then. Emmett thinks that 3,550, no, 3,564 add 575 is 9,214. Why is he incorrect? Hopefully you're already shouting at the screen and you're telling me if you need to pause it here and just have another quick look, please do, but then we'll go through it together. Okay, so what has Emmett done wrong? Emmett is wrong because he has not lined up his numbers. He, and this is the same phrase I've been saying throughout all of these videos, he should line up the ones with the ones, the tens with the tens, the hundreds with the hundreds and the thousands with the thousands. So if I move Emmett up here, this is what some of our wording should be that we've been using. He has not lined up the answers. He should line up the ones with the ones, the hundreds with the tens with the tens, the hundreds with the hundreds and the thousands with the thousands. So we can see here, he has not lined up that three digit number. 
I'm not going to go through the answer with you, but if you want to move the 575 into the correct place and then have a go, you could also then tell me why he uh, or what his answer should be. Okay, for your task today then, you have five do it questions, very similar to the ones that we have done before. Just make sure you don't make Emmett's mistake and you make sure you line them up properly. Colin has then made a mistake and please, please, please explain why he has made that mistake and what the answer should be. And then you'll go deeper for today. Coco is adding together a four digit number and a three digit number. The answer is 6,301. All of the digits of the two numbers are different. Find possible pairs of numbers. So it's a four digit and a three digit number added together, but the answer is 6,301. I wonder if you can work out what two numbers they could be and find all the possible pairs. So there's more than one way of working this out. Good luck today. Um, I'll let you pause the video here and have a go at those. And when you come back, we'll do the learning pit. Good luck. Okay, hopefully you haven't found that too bad today and hopefully you've given the Go Deeper a good go. Um, quite an interesting one today, I think, but quite fun for you to work out the different numbers. Just have a think about where you are on the learning pit then for today. How did you find that today? Was it easy enough to remember to line up those numbers? And if you're sending this work in as your favourite piece, if you can pop yourself on the learning pit just to show where you are today, that helps us to know. A huge well done again, and I will see you for our last edition maths work tomorrow. Well done and bye for now.